Hey everybody, and welcome back for another episode of Spooky's House of Jump Scares. So this game has fought me at every freaking angle to try and make it difficult for me to record this for you, but we're here anyway. I know it's been like months since the last episode of this, but you know, obviously the game was not finished yet. It is now finished, and well, I had issues with getting this to record after that, and then I also lost my save progress, but thankfully there's an unlock system in this, so I was able to warp back to exactly where I left off. And uh, we shouldn't have any more problems, hopefully. We had some stuttering and things that I sorted out. A very particular recording setup requ uh, required for this one. So let's get back to the being spookied and the house and the jump scares and the 1,000 rooms that we must walk through and not look behind us ever because that is not the way of our Dao. Uh, as it goes, you might remember last time, we ended up fighting the bull god. Also, this is a pretty cool-looking split texture work thing going on here. I don't know if this is intentional or maybe my graphics card is just overheating and decided to render those as red. I'm gonna hope that it's the uh, the former and not the latter. Uh, so we, we fought the bull god and we won. Uh, we basically got, you know, turned into a crazy person by looking at it for a minute and, well, found another way through or something like that. It's been a while. Uh, my memory's a little bit fuzzy, but regardless, we got to the point where we now should have infinite stamina. And if we so choose, we could engage in such uh, debauchery as to move quickly through these environments. Uh, or, you know, maybe not. I mean, I've been told also that the infinite stamina thing might be more geared toward uh, not so much the running, but more towards the uh, the axe swinging, which, you know, I never really knew that to be much of a problem in the first place. Actually, it doesn't seem to affect it at all. No matter, we shall continue on. So the increments, if you remember, are now happening at a slightly different rate. I'm not sure where safety will occur anymore. And really all we can do is just, just go, wait for different stuff to show up, and react to it as we uh, generally would. You know, I've been playing more horror games lately, and I think this is a thing that... Uh, it has nothing to do with, like, viewership or anything, it's just that's kind of what I've been in the mood for. Oh, we found a note. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive a simple ghost or two, but these monsters keep getting faster and stranger. Alright, sounds good. But I've been playing enough horror games lately that a thing that I've been noticing is a, a constant in nearly all of them is there are always notes left around. I don't know who's leaving all these notes, but I've never run into this in life. I mean, I've run into a couple of post-it notes. Sometimes at work there would be like a... A few more than I would like, you know, notes left around is, don't do this, do, do do that, make sure these things happen. Got it, yeah, those are notes, I get it, but like, for some reason horror games... What? Something weird happened to my stamina there. For some reason in horror games, everyone wants to tell you a freaking story in notes all the time. Alright, so this is a chime room. We will walk through the ones that make the correct sound. We go left, we go left, we go straight, we go right. No, we go left, left, we drain our stamina, and we go straight again. No, it's it's left, left, straight, left. Problem solved. Anyway, um, so I between the, the notes being left all over the place and the fact that they seem to almost always be scrawled in nearly unintelligible handwriting, that's a trope that I'd like to see maybe a little bit less of in horror games in the future. I mean, there have to be other ways of telling a story than always the notes, but I understand that this is, for all intents and purposes, probably the simplest asset-wise to generate these types of things. Uh, in order to survive the house, I need to keep writing notes. Oh, well now we're actually literally addressing- I have not played this ahead of time, by the way, this is still blind. That was actually just a random chance that we are now addressing the thing I was just talking about. I must do everything a central protagonist would and hope this is one of those stories. Okay, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> the self-awareness is too good. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instructions somehow. Alright. Well, what things would I do if I was a central prota uh, protagonist in a horror game or movie? I would constantly keep looking backward at things that are approaching me. I would stumble and fall constantly. I would always pick the worst direction to run in. And then ultimately try to hide versus a thing that can probably walk right through walls anyway. Uh, I would grossly misunderestimate... Just grossly underestimate the situation. Misunderestimate is not a word. I'm not sure where I came up with that one. Um, oh, the music has transcended slightly. Also, I don't have my... Oh, here we go. Uh, right. 
I don't have my uh, infinite stamina anymore, which is kind of a drag. I, don't, I never really got to use it. Well, I had it, it just didn't work. Oh, you're like right behind me, huh? Oh, is it doing like a clicking? Getting a little Geiger counter, a little HR Geiger counter? Also, why are you always not behind me until I just make it through a door and then all of a sudden there you are? No matter. I should be able to, uh... Oh, this is interesting. Is this actually intangible? Okay. I'm into this. We've got a little bit of odd stuff going on here. I'm not actually sure how to deal with that. Perhaps one of the first times when I'm, be I'm being put in a position where I feel like I don't actually have recourse. Oh, I lived. I wasn't sure if that would be possible. Uh, what is this black wall? Oh, it's just like a door? Alright. I think I found my way out. No note. Lucky room 777, traversed. No big deal. I will go left here. I wonder if this is maybe the longest series that I've done, excuse me, uh, where there was like a massive hiatus and then I actually intended to finish the game, I wonder. Um, anyway, what I was talking about earlier is I was kind of thinking that I'm really enjoying doing a lot more horror games lately, not only just because they sometimes are surprisingly interesting, and also sometimes they're surprisingly awful, in which case they're actually really fun to sort of play with the physics and break. Uh, which is a, another habit of mine that I tend to get into. Uh, but I like really kind of going through the storytelling tropes and like the gameplay mechanics tropes and all of that stuff. And I like that I don't need to be freaked out by them to still enjoy them, which is I think a thing that is sorely lost on a lot of YouTubers that there are still, you know, games underneath these thinly veiled mechanisms for you to entertain an audience. Uh, and I would like to maybe, perhaps, delve into more of those experiences in the future. And you are putting up quite a frantic chase here. Uh, frantic is maybe being a little bit fast and loose with a meaning, but... You know, motion is happening, dynamic movement. There are doors that we are traversing. We are physically making a number in the top right corner of our screen go up, so that's dynamic, right? Could you ask for anything more than that? I mean, you probably could, but it's okay. We should be approaching room 800 fairly soon, which I have no idea if that will mean much of anything for us. I'm gonna hope. Oh, God. I didn't expect one of those to show up. Freaking wiggle worm cha chasing me down the freaking place. Maybe I'm getting a little bit unnerved now. What is going on with me? I'm falling to pieces. All right, no, I'm fine, actually. I, I, I didn't expect there to be, a, a like, a combo of... Not the thing I expected to be chasing me, and also then a creepy jump scare cardboard cutout. Instead of the usual cupcakes and applesauce, which is, there's not actually an applesauce one, but... You know, maybe in another patch. I think the danger has largely... passed us. Um, if I really wanted to be, like, maximizing my speed, I should probably be walking, like, diagonally, right? I think that's a thing. Maybe I'll take a page out of the uh, Ocarina of Time playbook and freaking put down a bomb uh, then backwards and, and knock myself through some field or something. Keep that blood pumping. Alright, thanks, little heart. I haven't seen that before, so I assume there's probably new posters now. I was like the hang in there, baby. Well, I still haven't died, so it appears I might be the protagonist, but I'm not entirely sure. I hope I'm not some side character that leaves notes for pointless exposition also, I found a strange computer that gave descriptions of the monsters, and it seems like they are called effective based on how many people they kill. Okay, so there's uh, an experimentation happening here. What is this? Pillar. Make like a tree and die. <laughs> Interesting. That's kind of cute. I like the, the one element about this that I, I do keep coming back to enjoying is the fact that they've got this grotesque plus cute horror aesthetic. You know, it's not a thing that I've seen super regularly, so I figure we should embrace it. Honestly, for as much uh, garbage as I've given the game, you know, there are some positives to it. It's certainly doing something a bit different, and the fact that it's gone self-aware I find also quite entertaining, too. So, credit where credit is due. I don't think there's hardly any game that you could come up with that I would just be 100% negative on. 
whether or not I get pressed in one direction or another is, you know, I guess my own prerogative given my, uh, my mood of the day and also what I feel like I want to focus on, but I don't think there's anything that I'm that just blindly critical of that, you know, I can't see some positives, but I, it goes in both directions at the same time. I think there's pretty much anything that I like that I could still find negatives in. I mean, one of my favorite games of all time, Super Metroid, I could still give you some negatives about that game on occasion, although probably not that many. I mean, the controls are kind of stiff. I think we can all agree. Am I supposed to be going backward here? Oh, I've entered a realm where there is no door that led me in. So we've got some kind of non-Euclidean geometry, perhaps. Okay, found the door out. Not really sure why there, but... So we're going to try and go on to room 850 and hope that there's a save point for us waiting there. If there is, then fantastic. I'm, I'm wondering, though, some of that exposition that we might have run into in those notes earlier might have been better served um, maybe having shown up, like, 200 rooms earlier or something like that. Spooky Cart has three headers. I like that. It's a header within a header within a header. I guess uh, Mrs., uh, Mrs. Spook does as well. Mall of the Spook, and this one is still undefined, so I guess we're waiting for that to be added. That should be a secret save point right there. I'm not going to play the arcade machines. I, I was told a hundred times that I should use passwords on those. To the best of my knowledge, all the passwords are there for is unlocking the quick uh, jump back to where you left off in case your save file gets corrupted. Uh, there's in the options menu where that little gear is on the, the main menu. There's a thing that says unlock room 250, unlock room 500, unlock room 700. And when you try to open those prompts, it asks for the, the password for those requisite rooms. This is a new thing that I've never seen before. We've got a little mini upstairs thing happening and some verticality. I am interested. This is a, a scripted area, clearly. What is this? Wow, what a mansion. The dining room. Blood. Inside another mansion. It's a double mansion. Maybe I've, strange place to put a return there, made it all the way to the end of the house. Maybe this is like a resting place or another entrance, perhaps, whatever the case. I think this is a good spot to rest. I think this is a good spot to die. How about that? Interesting looking steps. These look very PS1 era, actually, the stretched polygon, or stretched pixel art on the bottom on the textures there. I'm going to guess locked. Not locked. Matt locked? What is up with this freaking wilted wall over here? Secret door? Secret level? Literally nothing? You can't expect me to just ignore that. It's all deformed. You had to actually go out of your way to create that situation. Alright, this is probably giving me something. I'm not sure what it is yet, but... Locked? I didn't actually necessarily want to leave the mansion entirely, but maybe this is one of those areas that's not... Room base, maybe this is actually like a real tangible space that I can go in and around. Peppers? What is the story with these? This mansion is strange. I think the bricks and wood are actually just painted on. Everything still feels kind of fake. Also, I keep hearing movement and voices below me. Maybe other survivors are hiding down here. You want to bet? I'm going to say no. Probably, probably some kind of zombie is problem happening here. Oh, look, a key with... Okay, I thought that was just uh, bad transparency around the edges, but no, it was actually intended for me to see that. Bedroom key. Please, oh please, oh please, oh please, let me find a hexagonal crank in this area, or, you know, a uh, spades key, or like a, some kind of crest. Let me find a demon's crest in this zone. Can I not climb stairs? Am I not a tough enough dude to climb? What? Oh, the stairs are a portal because there is no such thing as verticality in this game. Okay, I understand. Sorry, that did not need to come across. Oh, the door has uh, opened there. Are we going to have a pyramid head moment right now? Well, you wouldn't make me go in this unless something was chasing me, so clearly that's going to be a factor at some point. Whether or not it happens now or not remains to be seen. Thankfully, we just had a, a save point fairly recently, a checkpoint. What? Oh, I guess I did something wrong there. It's, uh, a man in a tank top apparently killed me. I'm not sure why. 
Yeah, that's a thing that I find reasonably negative. I mean, I knew when I walked out of that I was probably going to die, but I didn't really understand to what. This is a thing that I just can't really get behind. Just arbitrary death. Like, maybe I don't understand it half the time, and that's okay. But it doesn't give you a lot of hints. And it's not the first time I felt this way. Alright. Load it up. Play. Why doesn't it just give you an option to retry? I don't understand why we have to go back out to this menu. Whatevs, no big deal. Spooky's house. Poster has changed. Not really a poster at all, is it? Alright, so why is there a random dude in a tank top wandering around with apparently fatal intent? I do not fully understand this. Oh, oh, here I am. Here, <laughs> there's still no marker for where I actually am, but here I am. Several vague shapes, all moving at times, sometimes. All right, let's just do our best to get back to where I was. I don't think we're in a terrible amount of danger right now until we get back there. Once I know where I am, then I should be able to very quickly jump to grab that key. Clearly the bedroom key was meant to be a signifier of some sort of progress because it introduced an element that I was not aware of earlier. I haven't looked at one of these in a bit, uh, meaning I haven't been to this game in a bit. Yeah, we still can't modify the house layout. One time I want to do that. Specimens, yes, yes, yes. What's 10? Have I gotten a 10? Parasitic infections, a form-changing creature that is believed to be extraterrestrial, although not officially proven. Proved very effective on most subjects, but seemed too difficult to contain, or deemed too difficult to contain. The specimen broke out of its containment area due to frequent electrical malfunctions. Well, that's not my problem. I may have looked at that at one point and forgotten. If that's the case, my apologies. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I've seen the floating red figure. This is the bull demon. Fair enough. Back. Exit program. Thank you. I would like it if there was more to do on that computer. Like, it doesn't really give you much. Alright, chime puzzle. Right? Nope. Left. Left. Straight. Left. Oh, it's this one again. All right, I guess those are actually seated. I thought they were maybe random, but maybe they just have a, uh, a certain pool that they draw from. Honestly, why not just give the, the save point right here? You know, what do we gain by having to go through a couple more levels each time? Yeah, we saw that. The, the bricks are weird, I know. This is the key we wanted. It looks like I made a freaking beeline for where I was supposed to be. Line broken. We have no indication of any danger whatsoever at this point. I hear no steps, no problems, no... nothing to cause me any pause, really. And this one did not open, or did? Oh, this is the bedroom. Alright, read the note. Somehow managed to get away, but I don't know for how long. I hear him, even when I know he's not there. It's like he isn't even real, but instead my own fear is manifesting uh, in themselves and stalking me. So, I suppose I would need to be afraid for that to be true. I didn't hide in the closet, so maybe that's what killed me last time? However, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to make progress if I'm supposed to go in both of these rooms. Maybe this one is the trigger point, not the other way. Right, okay, so fears manifesting, so and so on. Um... I guess I'll just hang out in this closet until the sound stops. I mean, your guess is as good as, as good as mine about how I would adapt to this situation. Not seeing anything. I've actually just taken my hands off the keyboard and mouse at this point. I guess we're just gonna wait this one out. Oh, there he goes. Now I'm hearing mild EDM. Panning through my uh, headphones. It could be actually like a really good lead in to a new periphery song. It's got a good rhythm to it. I get down with this. Alright, sound has ended. He did a little bit of walking around in the room. 
I guess we did what we needed to do. He left us a key. Thank goodness. Very kind of him. And uh, we'll see if we can not become melted like the rest of this place. Not really sure where I'm meant to go, but I've got a key, so that's all I need. Uh, let's go here. No, nope, that's locked. Wrong key, I guess. I feel like if you're going to bother with the trouble of giving us keys... Oh, this is new. You should define what keys they are. What's this? I can hear him coming down the hallway. I need to hide, but I don't know where. Uh, I now know this place is not an exit or resting place, just another specimen room. I think he's outside the door now. I'm guessing this transfers to me as well. Whenever these notes and things seem to appear, it's always just like, this is also happening to you. I hear no sounds. But if I get insta-killed by this guy, I'm going to be a little salty about that. Because there's not really anywhere to hide here. No, maybe this one doesn't apply to me. Secrets? No secrets. Maybe I'll just leave. No big deal. Uh, we've been in here. This is the pepper room. Locked. We've been locked and blocked. These hallways are surprisingly symmetrical in a way, although the doors do not necessarily follow suit. It is kind of nice, though, to have a few moments that are actually more tangible, with, like, some actual physical space represented in them instead of the usual just sort of we're in arbitrary room-shifting world. Getting the lay of the lands, I think, can be an important element in pacing when it's coming to getting scares from people. Being able to know what's predictable and then juxtapose that against the unpredictable usually results in better pacing. So it's good that they've taken the route of having a little of both there. No, broken. I figured one of the rooms that was just locked would become less locked with the extra keys that I've procured. Maybe this is not the way it goes. Upstairs is certainly not anywhere for me to be. Upstairs does not lead anywhere good. Oh, this is a new room. Oh, sounds? You want me to hide? Fake book picked up. Oh, okay, I get to hide, like, under these boxes or something. I'll just hang out here for a bit. Yep, there it goes. There's the... Maybe we'll get a better look at him this time. I'm assuming, like... Oh, he's got a side. Oh, he's broken. What is your deal, dude? He's, like, polygonal, maybe? I think he's the only dude in the game that's, like, actually made of polygons for some reason. Unless I'm misdiagnosing. Maybe he's based on a polygonal mesh. But he's actually just sort of like what they did with Doom. Yeah, he couldn't find me. I, my hiding place was way too strong for him. I mean, I guess playing the piano, not ideal, but also, how would I make progress now? Because I don't think I got anything out of this room. Unless I picked up a key when I immediately walked in and forgot. No, actually, can't interact with the piano, so never mind. Oh, I got the fake book. Of course, that's what I got. So let's go... I, my, I'm sorry, my memory is like three and a half seconds long. I get distracted by these conversational cues, and then I just don't go back... Uh, so we've got to find where the books go, which is here. Books, books, books. Where is there a slot for a book? None of these look like proper book positions. I'm hoping that one of these is just going to, like, reveal a hidden wall. It's probably one of the ones on the back. Yeah, there we go. And a trap door. Oh, that's positively dank. I do like when we go full-on Silent Hill in this game. That actually makes me a little happy. I will not be happy, however, if you just insta-kill me, though. Again, that is not... That is not enjoyable to then have to repeat sequences like this. I like the exploratory moments. I like the revelation, revelatory moments. 
Not a huge fan of insta-kills though, especially when you have to repeat sequences that are scripted and involve standing still for a while. Those are like the least fun that you can have. I've noticed quite a few things that happen like that in... Oh, another key. And I guess we'll be hiding in here. Okay, cool. Uh, the RPG Maker games, they often seem to have long scripted sequences that have like very few checkpoints. Some of them let you save anywhere, which is fine. Uh, but when they don't, though, having to repeat that stuff just drives me nuts. What is he doing? He's freaking vibrating on the other side of this wall. Is that just your default position, just shake in place? Should probably keep my finger away from the E button, because that could kill me instantly. Wait for the sound to end. Oh, still there. I feel like pretty much every horror game in the last five years has had to have some sort of hide in the cupboard and wait moment. I'm trying to think of where the first game that I ran into that was. Was that in Penumbra? It must have been in Amnesia at the very least, but was it in Penumbra as well? I feel like it's pretty likely. Um... But Outlast obviously had quite a bit of that. The Evil Within, I believe, even had a little bit of that. At least at the very beginning. Talk about, talk about a game with weird pacing. Evil Within was all over the freaking place. Unfortunately, was not really a big fan of that one particularly, but... Alright, I guess we'll begin our running then. Uh, hopefully, me going through that door was not somehow an objective negative. I suppose it wasn't. Considering I guess we needed to come back here uh, with this extra key that I've gotten now. Uh, we want to probably go towards one of these. Nope, that was probably not it. Oh, wait. Shouldn't go that way, he says. Oh, this door probably. That was nice of you to tell me that. Thank you, game. And we're back into the grind. I guess we found our way out of the mansion within a mansion. But uh, will Scythe Man be chasing us again? That remains yet to be seen. I, I honestly hope that I can get to a save point, though, because that would be a long sequence to have to redo if that is indeed what happens. And you never know with these rooms. Everything is so freaking random. I, I might run into uh, a specimen that I don't know how to necessarily beat immediately. And by beat, I mean, like, react to, because beating and reacting to things is just sort of, well, I mean, a, a strange sentence. We could stop there. Give me a chime room. Those are very non-confrontational. Hey, you went straight. Dink. All right, you went left. Okay, well, you, you just go straight again. Okay, cool. That's probably not going to kill us then. But, you know, on the other hand, it is actually a good idea to have this level of tension. I have a lot more tension right now than I would have had had we not had to go through that sequence. Uh, because honestly, right now we're leveraging time versus being scared. We're saying, hey, you spent all this time invested in this sequence that is now, uh, you know, something that you don't want to lose. Now that you've got that sequence behind you, you actually care a little bit more about whether or not you live or die. Uh, you know, so that's effective on the player. I don't know why I thought getting to room 830 would somehow help me. I'm, you know, still a little ways away here. Oh, the music has changed. I would be surprised if we get all the way to 850 without any encounters at all. But then again, knowing me, I've, I've skipped about 20 encounters by just not looking behind me, so... Jump scare? No, usually those straight hallways have one of those. At least I've uh, become reasonably indoctrinated to believe that that is the case. No reason to dawdle, right? May as well just head there. I gotta remember if I get scratched to look behind me. And then uh, probably not panic and run. Because that could very quickly kill me. Well, actually, not very quickly. It would take me like two or three rooms to realize what was going on. And I would still probably have enough time to react then. Alright, ten more. I've got some sort of music playing. A little bit more tension again, ratcheting up. Okay, we've got a very calm-looking painting room. Sometimes the Z-fighting thing that happens with the paintings where it gets sort of like sketchy textures for a second, sometimes that seems like it might have been an intended scare. Is there a room or a, a 
a specimen that punishes you for running quickly away from the door. I feel like they almost always seem to do the opposite of that, but... Two more. One more. Can we make it down this very long hallway? Again, perfect moment for a, a troll right there if you wanted to go that way. We're at 8.50 and I see no save point. That doesn't make me super thrilled. Oh, okay. So we're back to this business again. Anna, it's locked. Do not, do not dare to do what I feel like you're trying to do to me right now, which is to set me up this far. Well, it's exactly what I talked about. Also, I'm infected with the parasite now. I feel like that kills me? Maybe? Oh no, it's, my health is just low. I might be okay. Maybe when I get my health back to full, I'll be all right again. Now we just have to hope that there's a save point at like 875 or some weird increment like that. I think once the health refills, hopefully I'll be able to stop getting that freaking flashing. You know, the flashing is just telling me it's around, isn't it? It would make sense that there would be some sort of like a psychoactive component to having this parasite in me, but... Oh, I don't think that's the case. Health is now nearly refilled. Oh, seem to have stopped there for a moment. Keep it going. Almost there. Will he make it? Only time will tell, folks. May have got to go all the way to 900 on this one. Probably the case. You know, it's all right. Just pretend we're playing some uh, some football. Oh god, what's happening right now? I was losing health for some reason. Was it running maybe? R maybe like stressing out my body was hurting me? Or being out of stamina perhaps could also have been it. Walking into a room with zero stamina. It's like my immune system can't react properly or something like that. You know, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure where I was expecting a uh, save point at 8.50, considering I think they were... We'd gone back to defaulting to uh, the 100 room increments, and I had had one at 800, so I don't think that made any sense. Uh, maybe the 750 was just a, a special one, because it was 750, and it's every 250 rooms or something like that. We get a double up. I don't know. Just keep it going. Only another few rooms to go. Well, not a few rooms, but like, you know, 20, 23 more rooms. A few rooms plus 20, you know, nothing that bad. And given that most of these rooms are over with in less than two to three seconds, I think we can pretty much handle it. Wow, you really went all in with that sound effect, huh? I feel like a, a freaking alien starship taking off. Oh, I remember this one. Well, scared faces, faces of terror, raw. Can we make it? Oh, chime room. Now the twist here would be as if they added a, a monster to a chime room. Maybe they'll save that for the top 900s. Okay, so we go right, 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 no, two rights, and a left. No, two rights straight. And straight again. No. Right. Right. Straight. Left. Yes. Looks like our parasite has diminished. Again, I'm not sure if that was... Oh, there's a note. Stop! That sounds so annoying. Well, I still haven't died, so it appears I might be the protagonist. I'm not entirely sure. Oh. Okay, you've put this note in several times. That's okay. Well, twice. Um, I saw it probably three, I think, because I had uh, reloaded there. No problem. Now, if they just make me sprint to the end from this point, meaning to 1,000, to 1,000 rooms, that will be a little frustrating, but... Well, if that's what happens, that's what happens. I'm not going to be able to fight it. Largely pretty uneventful for the last 
expanse. Of course, now that I say that, we get Pyramid Head chasing us or something. Uh, yep, foggy rooms. Foggy rooms plus crazy swirly patterns. Got it. We've been here before. I know this this whole deal. Sometimes this causes me to like lose track of the door or something like that. I'm pretty sure. There we go. We've made it. Woo! Saved. I think the effectiveness of the specimens is also somehow uh, somehow related to the souls of the people they kill. Somehow. <laughs> Anyway, I'm still alive and strong, but I feel like uh, the inmost cave of my journey lies ahead. Interesting use of inmost there. I wonder what the antagonist will look like. I hope they're cute. I hope we get to hang out with Spooky more. She's cute. I like Spooky. I want to hang out with Spooky. I haven't used my axe in a long time. I forgot I even have this freaking thing. You reminded me. Thank you. Should be able to chop down this poster. Anyway, uh, that was 40 minutes. Wow, that actually went by kind of quickly. Um, that was today's episode of Spooky House. I imagine there is exactly one more episode of this remaining, so uh, we will get to the end of this, and we will uh, we will regale each other with tales of horror and terror in future episodes. So see you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.